Now, like we mentioned, shingles, or herpes oyster, is caused by the same virus as chickenpox. The virus tends to lie dormant, and once the individual's immune system is lowered or compromised, the virus works its way through the peripheral nervous system, and once on the skin, it forms into small vesicles, or lesions, and appears red and swollen along the nerve pathway. These lesions are located along the nerve fibers of the spinal ganglia, so basically, the virus hides in the nerves, and when the body's weak, it comes out to play. You can imagine a pathway it follows from the nerves to the skin where it starts to wreak havoc. It makes a nasty looking rash that looks something like this. Not very pretty. Wait, don't go just yet. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to access more great, easy to follow videos. Don't worry. Nursing Study Buddy will be posting free videos for our YouTube subscribers and a wide variety of snippets from our video library at nursingstudybuddy.com. Nursing Study Buddy was designed for those nursing students and current nursing students who are struggling with their educational experience. So if you're a pro, whiz, Einstein, or even Stephen Hawking's nephew and have no trouble studying and acing your tests and quizzes, nursingstudybuddy.com is not for you. With new videos being added every week, what are you waiting for? Visit nursingstudybuddy.com and sign up for a one day free trial and put some free time back in your life by cutting down your study time while improving your test scores. We'll see you there.